comprehension to lecture 7. Odo jobs. Pre-reading. Put the following verb is in the correct order. To see a job advert, to have an interview, to be accepted, to start work, to apply for a job, to get paid. All the jobs, paragraph one. Read about a student who did an unusual job one summer. Extra work. Charlie, students are used to finding jobs during the summer. The holidays are long, so there is plenty of time to get temporary work and then go on a trip somewhere. Before term starts, for example, on a trip somewhere before term starts. For a couple of summers, I worked for the post office and then, last summer, I became a film star. Well, not actually a film star, but I was in a film. Now, word definitions. Temporary, it's an adjective, to be used for a short time. Examples, temporary relief from pain. Another example, I'm looking for some temporary work to be used for a short time. Something used for a short time, we say it's temporary. Couple, it's a noun. Two people or things. Examples. I have seen here a couple of times before. A couple of times means two times. We went there a couple of years there. So, a couple of years means two years. So, couple means two people or two things. Film star name usually movie star. Now, in a male or female actor who is famous for being in films or movies. Actually, adverb used in speaking to emphasize a fact or a comment or something is really true. An example, it's not actually raining now. So, actually, adverb used to emphasize a fact or a comment or to say that something is really true. Where derivations? Couple, noun, and the same word couple can be a verb. Action, noun, act is a verb. Verb, act, verb, actual, Adjective. Opposites or the opposites. Temporary, the opposite of temporary, permanent. Lasting for a long time. Permanent. Plenty of. Opposite of plenty of, a lack of. Plenty of money, a lack of money. There is no money. But plenty of money means we have a lot of money but when someone says I have a lack of money this means that he doesn't have money now paragraph one here Charlie says Students are used to finding jobs during the summer. Are used to finding jobs. So, verb be used to plus, their plus ing is used to say, here is used to say that something is usual, is familiar for students. 
So students are used to finding jobs during the summer. So it's familiar for students to try to find jobs in the summer. The holidays are long, so there is plenty of time to get temporary work and then go on a trip somewhere before term starts. So students are used to finding jobs because holidays are long and there is plenty of time to get a job to save some money then go on a trip somewhere before the next term starts. For a couple of summaries, for two summaries, a couple of summaries means two summaries, Charlie says, I work it for the post office. And then last summer, I became a film star. So, for a couple of summaries, he worked for the post office and he says that he became a film star. That's what we are going to know in the next paragraphs. Well, not actually a film star, but I was in a film. So, he says that he works or work it for the post office and he work it in a film. Now, paragraph two. It was August and I was visiting my parents who live in a small town in the countryside. One day, I saw an advert for film extras in the local newspaper. A film company wanted to use the town as a location for their next film. And they wanted to employ lots of extras. You know, those people in the background while the stars act in front of the cameras. For example, the other people in the restaurant eating or the people running around screaming when there is a fire or the people just walking down the road. Now, where the definitions? Advert, noun, advertisement, adverts on televisions or in newspapers extra here it's a noun a person who is employed to play very small part in a film movie usually as a, a member of a crowd so extra plural extras so extra is a person who is employed to play very small part in a film. In a film or in a movie, usually as a member of a crowd. As a member of a crowd. Location, noun, a place where something happens or exists. The position of something. A place where something happens or exists, location, or the position of something. Employ, it's a verb to give somebody a job to do for a payment. An example, how many people does a, com a company employ? So, employ to give someone or somebody a job to do for a payment, for money. Background, it's a noun. 
the part of a picture or view behind the main objects or people. So background, the part of a picture or a view behind the main objects or people. Act, it's a verb, means to bear firm, a part in a play or film. An example, have you ever acted? Scream, to give a loud high cry. Scream, it's a verb, to give a loud high cry where derivation advert noun advertise verb employment noun employ verb location noun locate verb scream noun scream verb where derivation employment noun employable adjective location noun located adjective now i'm going to read paragraph two and try to explain to make it clear for you it was August, and I was visiting my parents, who live in a small town in the countryside. Now, the speaker is Charlie. Charlie says that it was August when he was visiting his parents. His parents live in a small town in the countryside. He says, one day I saw an advert, advertisement for film extras in the local newspaper. A film company wanted to use the town as a location for their next film. So here there is a company a film company a film company used the town or uh, the, the town that uh, Charlie's parents live in used as a location for their film their next film and they wanted to employ lots of extras so a film company wanted to employ Lots of people as extras. Uh, you know, those people in the background while the stars act in front of the cameras. Here, Charlie gives us a, a, an illustration. What does mean extras here? He says that extras are people in the background while the stars act in front of the cameras and gives us examples of extras for example the other people in the restaurant eating or the people running around screaming when there is a fire or the people just walking down the road now here charlie illustrates what does mean extras and gives us examples of extras Now, all the jobs, all the jobs, paragraph three. I thought it was a good idea. So Charlie says that he thought it was a good idea to try to work as an extra, to work as an extra. I wanted to meet some stars. He says that he wanted to meet some stars, film stars, of course. And I also wanted to see how a film was made. So I applied for the job and was really exciting when I was accepted. There was no interviews. They just said I looked all right. 
Sorry, they just said I looked all right. It was also quite a lot of money, which I am not used to. The company wanted me to be an extra for one week of filming. They told me to arrive at half past seven in the morning. So I got up very early and got there on time. There were lots of people on set and I spoke to some of the other extras. There were different kinds of people, other students, business people, mothers and kids, and some tourists too. We were all very excited. There was a lot of noise and action. The film crew was getting ready and preparing the set. This included setting up the lights, cameras, and recording equipment. Recording equipment, sorry. Here were definitions. Apply for, it's a verb. To make a formal request, usually in writing, for something such as a job, a place, or at college, etc. So, to apply for work, to apply for university, this means that to make a formal request, usually in writing, for something, for job, for place, for anything. Accept is a verb. Accept is a verb. Means to say yes to an offer. Accept a job means to say yes for the job. To accept an invitation to say yes, I am going to go to your party or somewhere so accept to say yes to an offer or something invitation or interview it's an hour what does it mean interview a formal meeting at which somebody is asked questions to see if they are suitable for a particular job a course of study at a college or university, etc. So, interview is a formal meeting at which somebody is asked questions to see if they are suitable for a particular job, a course of study, and so on. This it, it's a noun. A group of smaller things that belong together in some way. A set or the set, a group of smaller things that belong together in small in some way. Kind, it's a noun. Of course, it can be an adjective, but here in this paragraph is used as a noun. There are different kinds of people. This means kind is a noun. A particular variety or type. Kind here, a particular variety or type. Tourist, noun. A person who is traveling or visiting a place for pleasure. Tourist, a person who is traveling or visiting a place for pleasure. Crew, it's a noun. All people working on a ship or a plane or any anywhere we say we call crew crew. It's a collective noun. All people working on a ship, a crew of the ship or a plane, a crew of a plane or a film, a crew of the film. Sit up, it's a verb. To build something or put something somewhere. To build something or to put something somewhere. Set up. Equipment, it's a noun. The things that are needed for a particular purpose or activity. Equipment, 
the things that are needed for a particular purpose or activity. Where derivation apply is a verb, application is a noun, accept is verb, acceptness is a noun, interview is a verb, the same word interview can be used as a noun too. Set, it can be a verb, it can be a noun, like interview. Crew also, it can be a verb, it can be a noun. Equip is a verb. Equipment is a noun. Now, verb, adjective. Apply is a verb. Applied or applicable is an adjective. Accept is a verb. Acceptable is an adjective. Set is a verb. Set is an adjective. Kind is a verb. Can be also kind as an adjective. Now, we go back to paragraph 3. I thought it was a good idea. It here refers to the job to be an extra. I thought it was a good idea. So the pronoun it in the first sentence refers to the job as extra, as an extra. I wanted to meet some stars. He thought that when he worked as an extra, he could see or he could meet some film stars. So he says, I wanted to meet some stars and I also wanted to see how a film was made. So Charlie thought to work as an extra was a good idea because he wanted to meet some film stars and he also wanted to see how a film was made. So I applied the job. Charlie applied for the job and he was really exciting when he was accepted. So he was excited, excited and he was happy when he was accepted. There was no interviews so he says that they there was no interviews. They just said, I looked all right. It was also quite a lot of money. So he is going to get a lot of money of this job, which I am not used to. He says that he is not used to get a lot of money. The company wanted me to be an extra for one week of filming. So, he is going to work as an extra for one week of filming. They told me to arrive at half past seven in the morning. This means that Charlie should get up early to arrive at half past seven in the morning. So I got up very early and got there on time. There were lots of people on set. When he got there, he found lots of people. And I spoke to some of the other extras. Charlie spoke to the other extras. There were different kinds of people. He said that there were different kinds of people. There are students, there are business people, mothers and kids, and some theorists too. We were all very excited. So all the people that work as ex extras, they were very excited. 
There was a lot of noise and action. The film crew was getting ready and preparing the set. This included setting up the lightest cameras and recording equipments. Recording equipments. Now, paragraph 4, however, although the film crew were very busy, we were just waiting. Three hours later, we were still waiting. Now, I'm used to, do, I'm used to doing nothing sometimes, but this was really boring. Finally, the director said he was ready to start shooting. Hara, he told us that a man was going to appear at a window. When we saw the man, we had to shout no very loudly and very often. After some more waiting, we saw the man, the camera operators, finally started filming. The window opened, we saw the man, and we all shouted. Then we had to do it again and again. I think we did it. We did that one scene 20 times. Where it definitions? Director, it's a noun. A person in charge of a film, movie or play who tells the actors what to do. So director is a person in charge of a film, movie, play who tells actors or the actors what to do. Shoot, it's a verb, to fire a gun or other weapon. Shoot, to fire a gun or other weapon. Loudly, it's an adverb, in a noisy way, loudly, in a noisy way. Operate, it's a verb, to work in a particular way. Synonym, S-U-N, means synonym, function. So, operate, and function are synonyms. Operator, it's a noun. Operator is a noun. A person who operates equipment. Operator, it's a noun. A person who operates equipment. Scene, one of the small sections that a play or an opera is divided in. Into, sorry. So, scene, one of the small sections that a play or an opera is divided into. Now, where derivation? Noun and verb. Director is a noun. Verb, direct. Loudness is a noun. No verb for loudness. Operation is a noun. Operate is a verb. Shoot can be a noun and it can be a verb. Now, word derivation, noun and adjective. Director and direction are nouns. Adjective direct. Loudness is a noun. Loud is an adjective. Operation is a noun. Operative is an adjective. Now, I'm going to read it again, paragraph 4. However, so here when we find it, this means that the following sentence 
are going to contrast with the previous ones. However, although the film crew were very busy, we were just waiting. So the film crew were very busy, but extras were just waiting. Three hours later, we were still waiting. This means that to be an extra something is something boring. So three hours later, Charlie says, we were still waiting. Now I'm used to do to do to doing nothing sometimes, but this was really boring. So Charlie says that he is familiar to do nothing but he says to wait for three hours or more than three hours is something is really boring finally the director said he was ready to start shooting hara he told us that a man was going to appear at a window when we saw the man we had to shout no very loudly and very often after some more waiting we saw the man can see that the work of extra is to wait and wait and wait which means that to be an extra is something very boring. So, after some more waiting, we saw the man. The camera operator finally started filming. The window opened. We saw the man and we all shouted. Then we had to do it again and again. I think we did that one scene 20 times so they repeated one scene 20 times repeated again and again now paragraph 5 and 6 this was a typical day I arrived early each morning and then waited and waited until the filming started then we always had to do the same scene again and again after a few days it became even more even more boring and i realized why i got paid quite a lot so what about the film stars well I never saw them. The rest of the film was made in studios in or in uh, uh, sorry or in other parts of the country. The scenes in my town didn't have any famous actors in them at all. Now we know where definitions realized that we studied in the first units I think in unit uh, one culture shock we studied but I repeat it again realize sometimes it's written in R-E-A-L-I-S-E -E, and sometimes it's written in this way with Z instead of S realize verb to become aware of something famous, adjective, well-known, actor, it's a noun, a person who performs on the stage, on television or in films, movies, especially as a profession. Word derivation, realize is a verb, realization is a noun, act is a verb, actor is a noun 
realization noun realizable adjective fame noun famous adjective now I'm going to read paragraph 5 and 6 again this was a typical day so in this in paragraph 5 Charlie is going to describe uh, his typical day he says I arrived early each morning and then wait and wait until the filming started so he arrived early every morning then he waited and waited until the film started then we always had to do the same scene again and again they repeated the same scene many times after a few days it became even more boring and i realized why i got paid quite a lot so charlie became boring and charlie realized why they paid for him a lot of money because the work or the job is very boring and a bit difficult and they repeated the same scene many many times so what about the film stars hey, Charlie said that it's a great idea to be uh, an extra because he wanted to see stars now he asks what about the film stars well he answers I never saw them he says that he didn't see any stars well I never saw them the rest of the film was made in studios in other parts of the country the scenes in my town didn't have any famous actors in them at all so he never saw film stars now here we have comprehension one here there are three different sum summaries of the reading which one is correct which one is correct number one a charlie worked as an extra in a film and thought it was fantastic every day was interesting and he met lots of film stars the only bad thing was the money he didn't get paid very much of course it's false because charlie okay charlie worked as an extra in a film and thought it was fantastic it's correct okay every day was interesting it's not correct every day was boring and he met lots of film stars it's wrong it's false because he didn't meet any film stars the only bad thing was the money no the only good thing was the money he didn't get paid very much it's wrong it's false he got paid a lot of money so that a is not a summary it's not a summary it's false so b charlie worked as an extra in a film made in his town it's correct all the local people were in the film it was a great fun and he got paid a lot of money too it's false because not all the people in the film are local people and it was not a great fun but he got paid a lot of money so number b is false can it's not the summary here c charlie worked as an extra in a film 
At first, he was very excited. It's correct. But the work was quite boring. It's correct. And he spent a lot of time waiting. It's correct. The good thing was he got paid quite well. So, C is the correct summary for the paragraph, the text which has all the jobs. So, C is the correct summary. Now, comprehension 2. Answer the questions. In line 3 in paragraph 1. Which phrase means a job for a short time? Temporary job means a job for a short time. It's the answer. Temporary job means a job for a short time. Number two. In line five in paragraph two. Another way of saying to give someone a job is employ. So the answer is involved. Employ. Employ. In line 5, in paragraph 2, another way of saying to give someone a job is employ. 3. What are extras? A, B, C, A. The actors in the film? Of course not. B. The people who are behind the actors? Yes, it's correct. The camera operators? It's wrong. It's not the answer. So the correct answer is B. Extras are the people who are behind the actors. You can see between practices, it's the answer. Number four. In line one in paragraph three, what does refer to? It refers to the work as extra. It refers to the work as extra. In line 7 in paragraph 3, what time did Charlie arrive in the morning? He arrived at half past 7 in the morning. Number 6 in line 1 in paragraph 4, what does we refer to? What does we refer to? A, B, C. A, the film crew? Of course not. B, the actors? Not. C, the extras. So, we refers to the extras. C is the answer. 7. In lines 4 and 8, in paragraph 4, which two verbs have the same meaning? So, in lines 4 and 8 in paragraph 4, two verbs have the same meaning. Shooting and filming. Shooting and filming have the same meaning. Shooting and filming. 8. In line 1 in paragraph 5, what is another way of saying happening in the usual way? An answer? Another way of saying happening in the usual way is a typical day. A typical day. Happening in the usual way is a typical day. 9. In line 4, in paragraph 5, why did Charlie get paid a lot? A. Because the work was very difficult. B. Because the work was very boring, which is the correct answer here. You can see that it's underlined. It was underlined here. So, B is the answer. C. Because film company has lots of money. Of course, 
it's not the answer. So number nine, the answer is B. Ten. In paragraph six, why Charlie didn't see the film stars? Also here we have three choices, A, B, C. A, there were no famous people in the film. So it's uh, not the answer. B, they didn't come to his town. It's the answer, yes. So Charlie didn't see the film stars because they didn't they he refers to film stars they or film stars didn't come to his town see they were in different parts of the town it's not the correct answer now i'm going to read the text paragraph by Paragraph. Read about a student who did an unusual job one summer. Extra work. Charlie, students are used to finding jobs during the summer. The holidays are long, so there is plenty of time, plenty of time to get temporary work and then go on a trip somewhere before term starts. For a couple of summers, I worked for the post office and then Last summer, I became a film star. Well, not actually a film star, but I was in a film. It was August and I was visiting my parents who live in a small town in the countryside. One day, I saw an advert for film extras in the local newspaper. A film company wanted to use the town as a location for their next film, and they wanted to employ lots of extras. You know, those people in the background while the stars act in front of the cameras. For example, the other people in the restaurant eating, or the people running around screaming when there is a fire, or the people just walking down the road. I thought it was a good idea. I wanted to meet some stars and I also wanted to see how a film was made. So I applied for the job and was really exciting when I was accepted. There was no interviews. They just said I looked all right. It was, quite, it was also quite a lot of money, which I am not used to. The company wanted me to be an extra for one week of filming. They told me to arrive at half past seven in the morning, so I got up very early and got there on time. There were lots of people on set, and I spoke to some of other extras. There were different kinds of people, other students, business people, mothers and kids, and some tourists too. We were all very excited. There was a lot of noise and action. 
The film crew was getting ready and preparing the set. This included setting up the lights, cameras, and recording equipment. However, although the film crew were very busy, we were just waiting. Three hours later, we were still waiting. Now I'm used to doing nothing sometimes, but this was really boring. Finally, the director said he was ready to start shooting. Hara, he told us that a man was going to appear at a window. When we saw the man, we had to shout, no, very loudly and very often. After some more waiting, we saw the man. The camera operators finally started filming. The window opened. We saw the man and we all shouted. Then we had to do it again and again. I think we did that one scene 20 times. This was a typical day. I arrived early each morning and then waited and waited until the filming started. Then we always had to do the same scene again and again. After a few days, it became even more boring and I realized why I got paid quite a lot. So what about the film stars? Well, I never saw them. The rest of the film was made in studios or in other parts of the country. The scenes in my town didn't have any famous actors in them at all. So we come to the end of our lecture. See you in the next lecture.